Today I have a news update on Diablo 4 where they just released their new Necromancer class. Now, please keep in mind this is in development, so it's not 100% confirmed this is the final design. After I'm done showing you the Necromancer, I'm also going to have the new trailer released a couple of days ago for everybody that hasn't checked that out. But while we're watching the Necromancer, I do want to talk about a couple of things released a couple days ago. Now the trailer looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to play it, but I have two huge concerns for the game. One, once again, it is PC co-op, and if you're familiar with Diablo 3, PC hacked that game and created god items that ranked up everybody in the game insanely fast. You can get a thousand levels in just a few minutes. Made you absolute god where you could solo the max level torment. And then those items were given out to many players on other platforms. So are they going to do that again? No company has been able to stop PC co-op from breaking games so far. So most likely. My other concern is how they did Diablo Immortal, which is now currently rated the worst game by users ever in history out of like 19,000 total games. This is because they had several hidden caps in the game that prevented people from farming effectively, getting significantly reduced amounts if they tried to actually farm. To make matters worse, on top of all the hidden caps that preventing farming effectively, you also had monetization in the game with a pay to win platform. So when you were getting those shit drop rates, now you were incentivized to go spend real money. And a lot of players spent a lot of real money on the game. I'm hoping Blizzard learns from its mistakes and these do not come to pass in Diablo 4. But if I was a betting man, I would bet that we're going to have a lot of cheaters within the first month. And we're going to see monetization for pay to win once again in Diablo 4. But on the bright side, here is the new trailer for Diablo 4, which you can most definitely enjoy watching. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It allows you to switch around your play style as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. But you might have a space that begins as a hostile area. But after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Um, sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get. And you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world and then a local event will pop up and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's, it's epic. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. 
if you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're going to be able to group up. Or you could play couch co-op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata and everyone wants to chase you down. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful whether it's new items or new dungeons or new Paragon boards. Every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so close.